when you open the hover app, it's going to look like this. And you're going to go and hit hover settings, the green circle at the top, which is going to show you all your options. Right now, we're just looking at the manual, which is the custom line. You want to make sure dolly track is selected here. You want to make sure your shooting mode is continuous. That way, it won't stop. Your distance is standard. Your altitude is flat to keep it simple. And this is the landing method for the gesture, which is just optional for the gesture itself to land. Vertical mode I leave off because I shoot a lot of horizontal. And you'll make sure your video quality is the highest, 2.730. And that's pretty much how you're going to get into manual mode. You're going to get these screens at this point. It's going to give you that video option, which is the most used for most people. The photo option on the far left has a three second countdown. It has a photo burst for multiple exposures. Saving these all to the app itself, which you'll get into later and download later. And then that video mode with also a countdown. Here I'm going to show you the actual controls inside the app when you're in manual mode. I'm turning left here, turning right. Left a little bit again. And then I'm going to do a pan left. That's very different than the turn left. This is a nice feature when you're trying to show some landscaping. I'm going to turn right again to kind of line it up. But then pan right. If you take a look at that green line, it's going to always show you what's activated. I'm going forward here. I'm going to pan right a little bit. Oh, I actually tapped a branch there. So I centered it here. Got away from that branch by forwarding, going forward. Now I'm going to pan right, which was my intention to kind of get in front of that branch and do a continual pan to the right here to show the beautiful landscape. Panning left and right is really an amazing feature. Turning left and right, you want to be careful of. Going forward a pinch, turning right to line up a little bit more. Got to go back left. Now I'm panning right again. See the flares coming in, it's really sweet when you have a mixture of trees and sun. So the summary here is the top portion you have forward and you have backward. You can pan both right and as you've been seeing you can pan to the left here as well. We'll do that in a second. There's the pan to the left. That's your top circle. The bottom circle is going to have the turns, turning right, turning left. And make sure you're not mixing the two up. Then you, of course, can go up, which you'll be doing a lot of, and down.